Okay, this is another concept problem. So a problem that doesn't involve any calculations. Oil flows at a steady mass flow rate, m dot, through a 90 degree elbow at constant speed v. So v is just the volume flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area of the pipe. The gauge pressures at the inlet and outlet are P1 and P2, and the weight of the elbow and the fluid in this elbow is W. And the question asks what force in the Y direction, RY, is required to hold this elbow in place? This was initially a multiple choice question with these four options. Oh, and I'll also consider the reaction force in the x direction as well. Uh, these are the flange bolt forces in the x direction. I'll do that at the end of this uh, video as a bonus. Okay, spoiler alert. You should pause now if you want to give this problem a go before I give the solution. The first step in this problem is to sketch a free body diagram. And so this is a quiz within a quiz. I've shown here three possible free body diagrams, which is correct. The only difference in these three free body diagrams is the direction of the pressure forces. So you should ask yourself, do the pressure forces act outward on the flange? Do the pressure forces act inward? Or do the pressure forces act in the direction of flow? Think about what you learned in chapter two. Again, you might want to hit pause for a few moments and make your choice before I tell you the answer. The answer is that the pressure forces act inward and normal to the flanges, as you learned in chapter two. I really urge you to try to have a physical feel for this. A positive gauge pressure would act to push the elbow off the flanges, so the bolts here would be in tension. It's like a pressure vessel. If the bolts failed, the elbow would blow off the pipe. So that kind of tells you the direction of the pressure forces on the elbow. The next step is to consider a control volume around the elbow. And we're interested in finding this force, Ry, the force in the y direction required to hold the elbow in place. So we consider conservation of momentum in the y direction. And that states that the sum of the forces on the control volume equals the rate of y momentum out minus the rate of y momentum in. Now notice that v here is the y component of velocity. So this becomes m dot v2 minus v1. v2 is the outlet, v1 is the inlet. And I've combined the mass flow rates here because we have a constant mass flow rate through the elbow. We have a steady flow with one inlet and one outlet. Now let's look at these terms. So v2 at the outlet, at the outlet here, the fluid velocity is horizontal. So there's no y component of velocity. So v2 equals zero. At the inlet, the flow comes in in the negative y direction with a speed of v. So v1 is equal to minus v, with the minus sign here being because the flow is in the negative y direction. So we have a minus times a minus, and this rate of y momentum out minus y momentum in is simply equal to m dot v. Next, we consider the sum of the forces on the control volume, and we put all the forces on the control volume, including the unknown reaction. Notice that y is positive in the upward direction, so the sum of the forces in the y direction is ry, because ry is positive upwards here. P1a acts downward, so it's equal to minus P1a, and obviously the weight of the elbow and the fluid uh, in the elbow acts downwards, so that's minus w. And we set all of this equal to the rate of momentum out minus the rate of momentum in in the y direction. So we just set that equal to mv. Now we can solve for this unknown uh, y reaction force. And that just becomes our y equals p1a1 plus w plus m dot v. Now, at this point, you should always do sort of a sanity check. Does this make sense? Think about this. If you were holding this elbow in place, P1 
P1A1 acts downwards, so the higher the pressure P1 is, the more positive our Y will have to be. So it makes sense that this P1A1 term is positive. Similarly, the heavier the elbow, which acts downward, the larger and more positive our Y will be. So it makes sense that that's a positive W. Now this momentum term is a little tricky. So let's just think about what's happening here. We have Y momentum coming in at the top and being converted into X momentum. So it's going to take a force in the Y direction to destroy, if you like, and to transfer all that Y momentum into the X direction. So I think it makes sense that this momentum term is positive M dot V. So at that point, you should be fairly confident that you have the right answer. Okay, although it's not required as in the problem statement, I thought I'd discuss the solution to the X reaction force, Rx here. Of course, to get Rx, you do the same procedure, this control volume, but you consider conservation of momentum in the X direction. So the sum of the forces in the X direction on the control volume equals the rate of momentum out in the X direction minus the rate of momentum in. And that becomes m dot u2 minus u1. Notice again that u is the x component of velocity. And once again, I've collected the m dot term because the mass flow rate is a constant through the elbow. So u2 here is the x component of velocity at the outlet, which you can see is the flow at the outlet is completely in the x direction. So u2 is just equal to v. At the inlet, the flow enters with no x component. It enters purely in the negative y direction. So u1 is going to equal 0. And so this just becomes m dot v. So that's the rate of momentum out minus the rate of momentum in in the x direction. Next, we consider all the forces in the x direction on the control volume. Again, noting that x is positive to the right. The only forces in the x direction we have are the unknown reaction force, Rx, and this pressure term on the flange, P2A. Rx is, is in the positive x direction, so that's plus Rx, and P2A acts in the negative x direction, so that's minus P2A, and we set all this equal to the rate of momentum out minus the rate of momentum in in the x direction. So we set that equal to m dot v, and then you can just simply solve for Rx. And that gives Rx equal to P2A plus M dot V. Again, it's worth taking a few seconds to sort of do a sanity check on this. You can see that if you were to increase the pressure here, it would require a larger positive value of Rx to hold this elbow in place. So it makes sense that this is a positive term. And what's happening in terms of momentum is you're taking y momentum and you've got no x momentum coming in and you've got a lot of x momentum going out so you're accelerating the flow in the x direction and that's going to take a force m dot v in the x direction so it makes sense i think that that term's positive so to end i thought i'd just talk for a moment about the physical meaning of these reaction forces our x and our y are the reaction forces required to hold the elbow in place in practice, these forces would be provided by the flange bolts. But since linear momentum can only tell you the total force in each direction, I've combined the forces at the flanges into a single force in the x direction and a single force in the y direction. So I thought I'd end by showing how past students have done on this question. I asked this question on a quiz after my students had finished studying chapter three. And uh, these are the somewhat sad statistics uh, from the student answers. As you can see, my students did quite poorly on this question with an average of about 36%. So I thought it would be useful to take a few minutes to make this video. I hope this clarifies some of the concepts and the solution procedure. And that completes this video.